Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about something that we are missing a lot now that we're not at school, the Heathcote Garden. I know we so enjoy getting outside, harvesting, planting, digging in the dirt, and just generally enjoying the act of gardening. So what Kaleidoscope Garden has done has created a series of four lessons for you where they've been all around the different Scarsdale Elementary Schools and showing you what's going on in our gardens. So today, Toby from Kaleidoscope Garden is going to be talking to us about photosynthesis. So the big question is, how does sunlight give animals, plants, and you the energy to survive? Let's check out what Toby has to say. Hello, my third grade friends. My name is Toby from Kaleidoscope Garden. This time of year, myself or one of my friends is usually here with you in your school garden, helping you to plant and take care of the crops in the garden, but also to learn in the garden. Unfortunately, uh, we can't share those workshops with you at your school garden, but instead we're sharing a video gardening workshop. And today, this is our first of four workshops. And in the garden today, I've been planting lettuce. These are seedlings. Sometimes we plant seeds. And you, many of you know because you've done several workshops with us already. Other times we plant seedlings. So today I'm just wrapping up planting. I got one more lettuce plant. So I'm going to use my garden trowel to make the hole big enough to fit all these roots. And then I'm going to carefully place that plant in that hole. Take the soil that I excavated and pull it all around and press that plant back into place. So there you have it. I just finished planting about 90 lettuce plants. Now, when you have a garden working, you usually start to think about all sorts of things. And today is a bright, sunny, and warm day. And while I was gardening, I, I couldn't help but think about the sunlight and how the energy from the sunlight helps to sustain me. Um, and it got me wondering, there's, there's something missing. The sunlight doesn't directly give me the energy to survive. There's a step in between, or, or many steps. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about what can the garden, what role does the garden play in taking the energy from the sunlight and getting it to me or to you, and giving you the energy to run and think and play and live your life. So my friends, maybe step outside one day, the next couple of days when the sun's out. Don't look at it directly, but let it warm your body, feel it on your face, and think about how that sunlight helps to give you the energy to survive. And when you have an idea, and there's more than one way, record your answer. You can write down some words, a couple of sentences. You can draw a picture that represents how the sun and the garden work together to give you the energy to live. And share that with your teacher, and maybe they'll have a chance to share it with your classmates and us, and we'll see what you say. Um, We'll see in the next workshop, we're gonna think about water. So I'll save that for our next time. All right, thanks for joining me everyone and, and be safe. So what Toby was talking about was the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is when a plant takes water, sunlight, and air and converts it to make its own energy. So you'll see on our picture on the right here that the leaves are taking in the sunlight from the sun the carbon dioxide from the air that animals and including humans breathe out and the roots take in the water. And through the process of photosynthesis, they give out oxygen that we need to breathe and they produce sugars to feed themselves. How cool is that? That plants make their own food. Today, we're going to read a book called Plants Make Their Own Food over on Epic.
plug into the sun. The sun provides Earth with light, a form of energy. Light energy from the sun fuels life on Earth. The sun bathes Earth in warmth and light. Using the sun's light energy, green plants and a few other life forms, such as kelp, make their own food in a process called photosynthesis. Though they are not plants, kelp can perform photosynthesis too. Food factories. Plants use photosynthesis to change two ingredients into a simple sugar. The ingredients are water and a gas called carbon dioxide. Plants use the sugar they make to live and grow. Roots take in water. Leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the air. Sunlight provides the energy for photosynthesis to work. Carbon dioxide, water. Chlorophyll absorbs the sun's light energy. The plant then uses this captured energy to change carbon dioxide and water into sugar. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll gives plants their green color. Besides sugar, photosynthesis makes a gas called oxygen. Plants make more oxygen than they need. So they let go of the extra oxygen. Gases enter and exit plant leaves through very tiny openings. Photosynthesis: oxygen, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide, water. The air we breathe. Both animals and plants need air. People need oxygen from air, and plants need carbon dioxide. Animals help plants with photosynthesis by breathing out carbon dioxide. People and animals need to breathe in the oxygen plants release during photosynthesis, and plants need to use the carbon dioxide people and animals breathe out. Oxygen, carbon dioxide. How animals and plants help each other. Oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Animals and people rely on plants for food. They also need oxygen from plants. Without plants and photosynthesis, animals and people would not survive. Thank you, plants. So those are the reasons why we animals and other humans need photosynthesis. To survive, we eat the plants, and the animals eat the plants, and then we eat the animals, and that gives us the energy to run and think and play. Today, you're going to continue your exploration of photosynthesis with a photosynthesis assignment on Brain Pop. So go on over by logging in through the G Suite. Find your photosynthesis assignment. You're going to watch both the movie and do the review quiz. You're then going to go on over to Seesaw to complete a fill-in-the-blank activity. You're going to see this template provided, where it gives you a word bank on the far left, where you will drag the correct words into the blue blank. Let's do the first one together. Photosynthesis is a process where plants create their own blank. Using sunlight. So, which word on the left-hand side here is correct? Photosynthesis is a process where plants create their own food using sunlight. So, on seesaw, you'll be dragging over the food word to the blue box. So, please complete these activities after going to the brain pop assignment, the seesaw assignment, and then, like Toby said, go on outside and think of how amazing the sun is, and how without that sun, none of us. Would be here. We would not have the energy to do all of the fun things that we do, and be able to keep learning and keep playing. Have a great day.